So let's calculate the change in energy of the system. We usually abbreviate SYS. Okay, so the delta E SYS is the change in internal energy of the system. And we came up with the equation yesterday. It's just always going to be final minus initial. All right, so what's my final energy for the system? 25 joules, right? And what's my initial? So it's always backwards, final minus initial. So it started out at 50, ended up at 25. So our delta E will be 25 joules minus 50 joules. And 25 minus 50 is negative 25 carry the two. Yeah, that's what I got too. Negative 25 joules. All right, so let's calculate the change in internal energy for the surroundings. Okay, again, we'll have to make up our numbers. So quarter tank, what did we say it was 25 joules? Is yellow a little too hot? A little too hard to see? A little too bright? It's okay, you can see it? All right. We'll say that the uh, half tank is 50 joules. All right, so uh, started out at 25, ended up at 50. But of course, when we calculate delta E, it's going to be reversed, final minus initial. So our delta E for the surroundings, which we abbreviate SUR, imagine that. As, again, it's going to be final minus initial. This time it was 50 joules minus 25 joules. And 50 minus 25, 25, nailed it. So 25 joules. <coughs> okay, so most of the time, 99 times out of 100, when you get an answer is just 25 joules, you're just going to write 25 joules. But when we're talking about energy transfer, as you'll see, the sign of the energy transfer means a lot. Okay? So a lot of times, even though it's just 25 joules, 25 joules is 25 joules, I'm going to still write positive 25 joules just to make a big point of saying that's positive. Okay? The change in internal energy for the system was negative 25. Turns out those signs are going to be important. All right, so what's the relationship between these? Okay, well, the system is negative 25 joules. What's that mean? Okay, it means it lost 25 joules. Okay, that's what it means. Okay, so the system lost 25 joules. That's what the negative is telling us, okay? You can't have a negative energy, okay? No matter what your yoga instructor tells you, okay? There's no such thing as negative energy, okay? Just like negative money. There's no, thing as, no, no, no such thing as negative money, okay? Can you have a negative, can you lose money? Yeah, sure, you can lose money, but you can't have a negative money. So we're not, we don't have negative 25 joules. What that means is the system lost 25 joules. Okay, that's what the negative sign means. So what happened to the surroundings? What does a plus 25 joules mean? It gained. It gained. Okay, so it gained. Surroundings gained. Twenty-five joules. Okay. So the relationship between the system and surroundings is that they are going to gain or lose the same exact value, numerically equal. But one's always gaining, so one's always losing, so they're always going to be opposite in sign. Doesn't matter who loses what. In this instance, the system lost 25 joules, the surroundings happens to pick it up, but it could have been the other way around. The surroundings could have lost, the system could have gained. And so mathematically, what we, how we'd write the um, relationship 
is that the change in energy of the system equals the change in energy of the surroundings, <coughs> but they're opposite in sign. So you gotta throw a negative on one of them. Doesn't matter which, okay? So negative on the delta E surroundings. So what that says is that the system, the change in internal energy of the system and the surroundings are always gonna be equal, but opposite in sign. Somebody's losing, the other one's gaining. Always. This is nice because most of the time when we're measuring the change in energy of a chemical reaction or physical process, we should measure the change in energy of the surroundings. Okay, if a reaction is going on in the solution, we measure the solution. And then we can backtrack the energy gain or loss back to the system because we know this uh, relationship is true. They're always going to be equal, but opposite in sign. They're always equal because law of conservation of energy, first law of thermodynamics, and they're opposite in sign because somebody's gaining, somebody's losing. All right, so that's an important relationship. We'll, we'll use that relationship a lot when we're calculating. Okay. <coughs> okay.